Welcome to the Real Andy of Beverly Hills Show. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the Real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Day girl, it is Sunday, Sunday, fun day. I hope that you're having an amazing and a beautiful weekend. Um, you're probably having a little bit of hangover, you're probably just like a little bit tired, but don't worry, just relax today. Let's go with the flow. I have a lot of tea, and guys, get ready because I have some cold, cold iced tea coming from the cold mountains of Salt Lake City that we need to discuss. As bitch. But if before we start, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop where I keep it real and I mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the Bravoverse with the pop culture street and more, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. Girl. Girl, we need to talk about the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City because that last episode, okay, I did my honest review. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it of the last episode because it was like a lot about everything, right? But there was a part and I had some tea for you that we need to discuss. And it's all the situation of Whitney Rose, you know, having conversations with a blogger, right? And I was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to talk about this. So if you watch the episode, you remember that Winnie Rose, you know, is receiving a call, having a conversation with a blogger, what basically is kind of like letting the world know that Lisa Barlow was the one behind, you know, the whole Alibaba um, situation, right? And um, <laughs> it's just like, before I give you the tea, let, let's talk about that scene for a moment. First of all, you can see the rehearsal on it, okay? Like, it was so bad act. I mean, from Whitney's side, from other, like, the whole thing was just cringy to watch, okay? It was very much kind of like, like, so this is what you're going to say. This is how we're going to do it, you know, and all of that. Look, I remember when the whole Alibaba uh, rumor came out, you know, we were all talking about it. And um, I can tell you, it did not come from Lisa Barlow. Okay, like it just it didn't come from Lisa Barlow. Uh, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to to find that the pieces were coming from alibaba you literally only have to copy paste the image on google images and it's right there because whitney didn't even change the pictures of you know the jewelry that she was selling and making it past like it was uh made by herself you know what i mean so uh it was it was brought by a blogger Okay, by another blogger, you know, at the time. And it was just like, I, I, I think it's so funny that these girls are so paranoid that they think that other people are planting stories out there all the time. It happens and it definitely happens. And I'm going to tell you in a second why. But I think if you are that paranoid, like, what are you really trying to hide, right? Anyways, the whole scene was very cringy to watch. I was like, oh my God. You know, the whole the whole thing is like, does she has like a store? Does she has like a beauty? I was like, just say it, you know. I mean, this is just giving so much mess. You want to say it's Lisa Barlow, just freaking say it's Lisa Barlow, period. You know what I mean? And let's just say that I know that you know this blogger was very very worried about lisa barlow finding about this you know but anyways now let's talk about this situation ship because whitney rose literally just exposed herself as being the one who is 
actually talking to bloggers and actually giving information to bloggers out there. This is a piece of information that I can tell you, okay? Back when they were filming, you know, uh, the real house, this season of the Real House of Salt Lake City, I was approached by some people from production, okay? Uh, and they wanted to ask me if I was getting, you know, information from any of the housewives uh, out there, you know, from any of the housewives of Salt Lake City. To which I say, no, like, what do you mean? I actually have not have any pieces of information. I talked to several housewives from several franchises, you know, and I think the difference is like, I never go out there really trying to sniffing out like information, like what can you give me so I can run to my channel and expose it out there. I don't run my channel like that, you know? I, I, I'm here to support housewives. I'm here to support these ladies, you know? And I, ha and I like to have honest, real conversations with them, you know? And whatever thing that they might tell me or not, I never, never say anything unless I have authorization to do so because I do not want to get any of this of them like in trouble. You know, I am not here to taking down a show. I'm not here to taking down Bravo. That's not what I do over here. I'm here to support housewives. And honestly, like I do love like. I'm a curious person. I do love to know information, you know, but I do it just for me, you know, and then when it is the right time, we just put it out there. However, in that case, last season, after the whole Monica fiasco, all the housewives were on a huge gag order, okay? None of them were allowed to spill any information to any blogger, press, media, absolutely nothing, unless it was extremely authorized by Bravo themselves, right? So, and at least with the people that I talk, they all respect that. They didn't want to say nothing, you know? So I was very surprised when someone from production approached me and asked me, like, it's someone telling you information out there. And I was like, no, no absolutely no one is telling me that. Um, you know me, you know, you, well, we have like a, a relationship there, you know, so you know me, you know that I, I don't do that. And I will tell you immediately why, what is going on. Well, apparently, allegedly at the time there was a housewife who was definitely opening her mouth you know and spilling all the tea to some bloggers out there you know and i was like well that's kind of messed up after the whole situation that happened with monica garcia you know and um now we got that confirmation over here you know whitney rose has definitely been in contact with not only this blogger but several but other bloggers as well and she has been putting information out there i don't know if she didn't like learn her lesson from the whole monica garcia situation i don't know if she thinks that by doing this she's just getting to the bottom of what because at the end of the day she's just trying to find the person who like put that information out there which again it doesn't really take like you know, so, like a big thing to find out that it was coming from Alibaba, right? But instead of taking accountability or instead of saying like, you know what, this is a very normal practice on the jewelry uh, uh, world, you know, or whatever. No, she just didn't want to take any accountability and just wanted to put out there like, you know, someone is trying to come after me and my business. No one is trying to come after you. No one really gives a shit about you. And I think that's what is really um, crossing her the wrong side. It's like she wishes that Lisa Barlow was doing this. She wishes that Heather Gray was doing this. She wishes that Meredith Marks was doing this, you know. And it is just not happening. On the other side, she is the one having bloggers on a first name basis on her phone like on a speed dial to give them all kind of information okay and who knows which other you know people she's talking out there that it that they will you know uh listen to her anyways i was very surprised i was very taken aback you know i was like no you know this these are the people you know that 
that I have connections with, you know, they have, they literally are respecting Bravo orders. They are not talking to absolutely anyone out there, including me. And I don't think they're talking to absolutely anyone else. You know, I, I ask around in my contacts in this world, you know, and everyone keeps saying the same thing, you know, no, I haven't received any information, any information, any information, you know? So at least on this side, you know, that we have, I know that, I mean, there are many, many bloggers and anyone can have a relationship with anyone, right? But it was not happening because the ladies, and I can tell this for at least, I want to say four housewives, even five housewives were not having contact with any blogger whatsoever, you know? And those were Heather Gay, Meredith Marks, Lisa Barlow, uh, Bronwyn, uh, Newport and uh, Mary Cosby, you know, so they were not having any communication whatsoever with any blogger that I know. But now, literally, Whitney didn't have to do much because she literally decided to expose herself right there in front of the camera, you know. Uh, now, I don't know where this is going to go. I think at the end of the day, Whitney just needs to really take accountability for her own actions. I think the problem is not that she's using Alibaba. I think the problem is that she's making the world believe that she's basically doing this, you know, by herself on, on her garage, you know, but, and that's definitely like not the case. And also that she is charging way too much. Like I get that you want to get maybe a hundred, maybe 200%, you know, of, of earnings girl, you will still need to sell for like $10, maybe 15 if you want to be greedy. Are you gonna sell me a two dollar necklace for forty dollars, bitch? Buy, you know. And then you wanna say like everyone is coming after me? No, bitch. You're acting like a Gen Shaw. You know what I mean? So, anyways, um, that's the tea. That's what I can tell you so far. Um, again, I love my housewives. I love the housewife who play by some of the rules. Sometimes the rules can be bent a little bit, you know, here and there. But in general, the whole idea is to not mess the show because that's what we watch. That's what we want. We want to be entertained. And when housewives are so thirsty that they just go out there to create all of this mess, it never works out. We have seen it on Salt Lake City. We have seen it on other franchises. You know, sometimes you have to respect the, uh, the, the process. But when you are hiding so many things definitely you're gonna get nervous and definitely you're gonna be opening your mouth because you want to take other people down instead of taking your own accountability so anyways let me know what you guys think on the comments below how do you feel about this whole situation and yeah if you want to get all the tea related to the real housewife of salt lake city or any of the other bravo shows make sure to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around See ya. Bye.